Mr. McHugh with another Fusion 360 um, tutorial. In this one, I'm just going to show you kind of what I did to create this recessed box. Um, it's a recessed, wait, recessed lid box. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to open up all my um, browser and I'm going to take the lid off. You can see on the inside, there's a little shelf for the lid to sit on. That's really the only difference. And so um, you can use the same techniques. You could extrude, extrude a box and then shell it, or you could uh, use sketches to create the bottom and the sides and bring them up. Um, and I'll give you kind of an idea of how this started. So um, yeah, I just created a box. And then I, uh, I um, turn on my sketches. Then I created a sketch on top of the box. And I pushed down, leaving some of the bottom as well. So extruded down and cut into the box. Then um, I created a, and you can see, if I get in a little closer, I created um, a another rectangle with it's just like two millimeters. The whole side is five millimeters. So I went in, I made a rectangle that went in uh, two millimeters on each side and then I press down and cut into them. And I cut down about three, three millimeters, I believe, so that the, the, the lid, when I create it, is gonna sit flat in there. Just a, a, a neater way to make um, a lid. So I can continue on. Um, as I go forward, I did some fillets that you can see. I kinda fillets on the side to make it a little bit smoother. I can show you if I get a little closer. Maybe not. Something's happening. Um, you can see right there. So I just touched on the edges. Um, I'm going to turn on my lid again. Then I created the lid as separate. I gave a little tiny space between the lid and the and the wall, the shelf. So there's like a half a millimeter on each side, so that it doesn't get so it's, it fits in, but it's not too hard to fit in. Um, for the handle, I did a little bit different. Let me turn on these construction planes. And then let me flip back here. Uh, for the, I did use a new tool called the mirror tool. And if I back up, I'll show you. I created a mid, a construction plane that was uh, in the middle. So if you look under construction plane, you can click on mid plane. And when you do that, you can click on two planes and it will create a construction plane right in the middle of them, just like that. I did that two different ways. I did one using these two planes and that way. Then I created a cylinder on top of the lid. Um, on that plane I created this sketch. You can kind of see it. It's not zooming very well. Okay. You can see the sketch right here. Oh, I guess I can just click on it. There's a sketch. Then I extruded that two ways. So I made a extruded a body. Um, then I went and I fillet, did a little fill, fillet on the um, the circular part. I filleted the top of that part, and then I used m the mirror tool. Oops. Oh, the handle's gone. Okay. So let me back up. You can see I fill it the handle, and then I use the mirror tool just to create a mirror of this one and this one. It's under create, mirror, and if I bring up that tool, it says what do you want to create a mirror of? I turned it on bodies, and then I clicked on the, on the bodies that I wanted, those two bodies, and what plane do you want to create a mirror on? And I click this one right here, and it just automatically creates the second half of that. So I don't have to create a whole other cylinder and all that part. So I could have if I wanted to, but it just does that for me. Um, and that's how I created that. So um, play around with the mirror tool. You know, that would be a good um, plan to review, playing around with the mirror tool because you can make uh, cool mirror symmetrical shapes. Uh, play around with the um, mid plane construction um, and maybe the recessed box lid. Let me turn off all of this so you can see that one. I'll turn off the sketches. 
and that just fits. You can see an example of this in the design hub. Thank you very much. Have a good day.